Hey guys, if you are looking to build muscles in your back without weights and without going to the gym, this is a 10 minute workout that's going to do just that. So using only your body weight, no equipment required. At the end of this 10 minutes, you are going to feel like you've done a really challenging workout at the gym for 30 minutes. It's gonna help you get stronger, help you build muscle. And again, we're doing this in just 10 minutes right here on a yoga mat or not even on a yoga mat. So do your best, follow along. We're gonna get started in a standing position. So first pose we're gonna do is a high lunge, but we're gonna add in some rows. So I want you to start with your right leg forward, your left leg back, just take a really nice, comfortable lunge position. Your lower back should be neutral, not arch, not rounded, but neutral. And then bring your arms straight out in front of you. Take an inhale. Now as you exhale, squeeze your elbows down and back as hard as you can. Really feeling those muscles in the back engage. Bring them forward with the inhale. Exhale, squeeze hard, squeeze them back again. Really bringing the shoulder blades together, feeling those back muscles engage. And one more, arms out in front, squeeze it back. Again, really active through those muscles in the back. And then lift your arms overhead as you inhale. And now do a pull up, squeeze your hands down and tight in toward the hips, elbows in toward the hips. Make the chest big, squeeze the muscles in your back. Lift your arms back up, inhale. Pull down like you're doing a pull up. Palms face forward, elbows are tight in toward the hips. Feeling those muscles in the back working, chest opening. One more, bring them up and squeeze down as hard as you can. All right, release. We're gonna stand up, little break and switch sides. Right leg back, left leg forward. Get into a nice comfortable lunge position here. Lift your arms straight out in front of you. Take that deep breath in. And again, row, squeeze your hands in, pull your elbows down and in toward your sides. Open the chest, squeeze those muscles between the shoulder blades and your back. And then inhale, bring your arms back out. Exhale, row, pull your hands in. Squeeze the muscles between the shoulder blades. Pull the elbows down and back. Open the chest. One more, bring it back out. Exhale, row. Again, elbows in, chest open. Squeeze the muscles between the shoulder blades. Now bring your arms overhead, reach up. Exhale, pull down, just like you're doing a pull up. Pull your hands down, pull the elbows down toward the hips. Open the chest, feel the lats engage. Feel the muscles in your shoulder blades engaging. Lift back up. Exhale, pull down. Really squeezing those muscles as hard as you can. One more, lift back up. Exhale, pull down hard. Like you're pulling as much weight as you possibly can. Really intense here. And then release and stand back up. All right, from here moving into a standing side bend, toes together, heels an inch apart. Lift your arms up. Bring your hands together, point your index fingers, and then squeeze your arms as far back as you can. Bend your elbows a little bit if you don't feel this at all in your upper back. Lift your chest up, keep your chin in toward the throat, and focus on squeezing your arms back. Don't worry much about bending your back. Focus more on getting the arms back. So really squeeze the arms back. You wanna feel the muscles in your back working. And once you've got that, now we can lean back a little bit but focus on maintaining strength here. 20 seconds, this is one of the best poses you can do for strengthening your back. It's really intense, but you're gonna feel the results immediately. Your posture gets better, your back gets stronger. You're gonna feel more confident. These are all things that happen in just a few seconds. Five more seconds, squeeze back as far as you can. Keep the chest up, stay strong through your core, and relax. Okay, we're gonna take it down onto the ground now. Guys, make sure you do this whole workout. Again, it's only about 10 minutes and you're gonna feel super strong. Really glad you did this by the end. All right, moving into a plank. So hands are under the shoulders. Press down firmly through your hands. Pretend like you're opening a jar with your hands, screwing your hands into the ground, externally rotating. And then your shoulders stay on top of the hands. Belly button stays lifted. We're gonna do 30 seconds here. Breathe in and out of your nose. 
If you need to, you can take your knees down for a break. And by the way, this is a challenging workout, okay? So if you need to take a break, take a break. If you feel like you can't do all the poses the first time, that's normal. This stuff takes practice. It takes repetition. If you can do this workout three times per week, you're going to notice the result in just a couple of weeks. So you just have to be consistent. All right, next pose, side plank. Let's go left hand first. So plant your left hand, roll your right shoulder back on top of the left shoulder, get your hips and your shoulders facing toward the outside. Your left hand is directly under the left shoulder. Make sure your chest is open. If you wanna make this more challenging, extend your right arm up. If this is too hard, you can spread your feet so you have a little bit of a wider base. You can also bring your left knee down. Okay, so you've got options here. Choose whichever variation works best for you. If you want to make this even more challenging, for the last 10 seconds, lift your right leg up and bring your hips even higher. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Now switch sides. Plant your right hand in the middle of the mat. Roll back your left shoulder on top of the right shoulder. Get your hips and your shoulders to face directly to the outside. Drive the hips up. If you need a little bit less, you can spread your feet. You can bring your right leg to the ground. But choose whichever variation allows you to hold this with good technique. If you can, extend your left arm up. Got about 15 seconds to go here. Do your best. Drive the hips up. Stay active through that hand. Make sure your chest is open. You should feel this weight in your back of your shoulder and your upper back. You shouldn't just feel it in the chest. You should feel your lats working as well. Three, two, one. And now lower your hand down. From here, we're going to go all the way down onto your chest and take it into a cobra. Extend your legs back as far as they'll go. Point the toes. Hug your elbows in tight to your sides. Zipper your legs up, and then use your hands to pull your body forward, arch, lift your back, just using the strength of your core and your hips. Hug your elbows even tighter down toward the hips and into the sides. Pull your chin in toward your throat. Feel those muscles in the back working. Make sure you're squeezing your abs to protect your back here. Don't just... Let your back do all the work. Use your hips, use your thighs, use your core. Squeeze here for 10 more seconds. Again, really squeeze the thighs, squeeze your abs, protect your back, pull the chin in toward the chest a little bit more. Five, four, three, chest open, two, one, and release down. All right, straight into a down dog. Guys, we're almost done with this workout. Stay with me. Hands under the shoulders. Bend the knees, press your butt up and back. Into down dog. Stay active here. Don't think of this as a rest pose. You can rest at the end of the workout. Remember, it's only 10 minutes. Lock out the arms, tuck the chin, press your chest back toward your feet. Breathe in and out of the nose. 10 more seconds here, just a little break and then we're gonna get back into this. All right, and then lower down onto your chest. We're gonna go into a full locust from here. So I want you to extend your legs back as far as you can. Point the toes, lift your knees, squeeze your thighs, and then lift your chest off the ground too. Bring your arms along your thighs, or along your sides. Palms facing up. Pull the shoulder blades together, open your chest. Make your body as long as you can, pointing your toes back, pressing your head forward. 10 seconds here. Use your abs, use your core, use your hips, your thighs to support your back. So using your full body here, using the arms, using the shoulders. And now from here, I want you to extend your arms forward, take it into a Superman, 20 seconds here. And then you get a break, okay? <sighs> Stick with it. <sighs> Guys, you can do this, it's just your body weight. We are so close to being done. Reach a little bit further, lift a little bit higher. Keep squeezing your thighs. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Release. From here, plant your forearms. Take it into a forearm plank, and then walk your feet in toward your elbows for dolphin. Keep your shoulders above your elbows. Press your butt up and back. 
Try to keep your back flat here. You're going to feel the weight in your shoulders and your upper back. Slow down your breathing. In and out of the nose. Hug your elbows in toward one another. Press down hard through your forearms, your hands, your wrist. 10 seconds to go here. Three, two, one, and then release. All right, guys, one more pose. This is a tough one, but really beneficial. If you can do it. Follow my lead here. All right, we're going to go into a cobra to start. So extend the legs back, point the toes, squeeze your legs together, press the tops of your feet into the floor, squeeze your elbows down toward the hips, in tight toward your sides, plant in your hands. From here, Press your feet into the floor, squeeze your thighs, and now I want you to push into an up dog. So push down through your hands, keep your thighs working, keep your feet pressing into the floor, hug your legs together so your inner thighs are working. Open your chest, press down through the hands, chin in toward the throat, neck back. Hold this for 10 seconds. Try to keep that breathing controlled. Again, open chest here. Biceps wrap forward, elbows facing back. Five, four, three, two, and release. All right, guys, if you enjoyed that workout, I actually have a full series of these workouts for free here on the Manflow Yoga YouTube channel. I've got a great full body one you can try out. Click over here to try that now. You can also check the description below for more videos like this. We have new videos coming out every Tuesday at 9 a.m., so subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already, and you'll be the first to know when those new videos go live. Like the video, leave a comment if you have some feedback. We also have a brand new podcast, description on that here below in the description. Thanks guys for watching, see you in the next video.